The long gestating DreamWorks biopic on the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. seems to finally be getting some movement. According to reports, Academy Award winner Jamie Foxx is in talk to play Dr. King, while Academy Award winning director Oliver Stone is said to be the set to director. The film will follow the life of King's and will mark the first film to be authorized by King's estate, giving the producers the right to utilize King's intellectual property, including his famous I Have a Dream speech delivered during the 1963 March on Washington to create a definitive portrait of his life. John Byer sell this proposed biopic on Dr. Martin Luther King. Oh, long overdue by. Long overdue by. Look, I, I've said before, and I get in trouble for saying this, and I don't really care, I'm not really big into biopics about musicians, AKA people who don't matter. Um, I, I, I really don't. I, I could care less unless, I don't know, maybe they do one about Bono at some point, you know, a guy who actually goes out and tries to save third world countries and rid the planet of AIDS and tries to do something significant. But when you're talking about a guy like Dr. Martin Luther King, this is a guy who, without using you know, uh, any type of hyperbole, this is a guy who changed the world. Um, and you know, I actually, as a young theology student, I used to read some of Dr. King's stuff actually, not, not even about his civil rights stuff. So this is long overdue. Now, getting a guy like Jamie Foxx, this is a great move. Foxx is, is a great actor. And lo and behold, he just so happened to have won his Academy Award doing another biopic. And now you're getting in a director who just happened to win his Academy Award for doing a biopic as well. And you've got two guys who worked together before, Jamie Foxx and, and Oliver Stone worked together on Any Given Sunday, which is a film a lot of people don't like, but I actually kind of did. Um, so you add on top of that, Stone's got other works that he's done, biopics kind of stuff, Nixon, JFK. I mean, so this seems to me to be a really good fit, a long overdue biopic. Christian, what do you think about this when you hear thoughts about Jamie Foxx playing Dr. Martin Luther King? I'm selling the story just for this reason. Uh, going back to what we were talking about with Fruitvale Station, I would like to see an African-American director do a Martin Luther King Jr. story. Mm. Um, it's not that I don't think Oliver Stone, and, and also where Oliver Stone is right now in his career, like The Savages, I, I like that at the end was a cop-out. W and JFK and stuff of that nature, he was, he was really, he's good and that's his thing, but I don't want just a conspiracy about oh, who killed him. I want to learn <laughs> about, I want to learn about Martin Luther King Jr. And I, I mean, he very well may do that movie, right. but that's the first thing I get when I hear Oliver Stone. On the Jamie Foxx element of it all is, I have a weird relationship with Jamie Foxx in that every time I hear that he's going to be in a movie, I go, oh man, Jamie Foxx, why do I guess? And then every time I see him, I go, that guy was awesome. <laughs> every time. Django, he was incredible. And Ray, uh, Collateral is one of my favorite movies that he did. So Jamie Foxx to me is always that actor that performs and you know he's going to put his heart and soul into the role. So that's, but I still, the Oliver Stone element, I'm selling just by that much. All right, Dennis. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell it, even though the topic matter and subject matter of Dr. King I think is great and I think there should be a movie for it. Um, I like Jamie Foxx, I think he's a really good actor, he, I think he'd fit the role. I'm not so sure about Oliver Stone. I mean, I, I would like to see a movie that's more subtle. Oliver Stone is not a subtle director. No, no he's and not. So, <laughs> and then on, on the fact is like, it's like the first authorized film. Usually when that means, it's kind of like the, with the Queen thing. Mm. It's like, Okay, well, we don't want you to say anything bad about the, you know, our family member or this person that we know. So we have to make sure that we approve everything that you do. And when you get in that territory, then it becomes, you know, a thing where okay, it 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 might end up being like, oh, we only hear all good things. Is it whitewashed? Yeah, exactly. So. That's, that's why I gotta sell it. You know, with Jamie Foxx, I gotta say, uh, you're right, he's, he's great in this, he's great in that, he's great in everything. I still think my favorite role I've ever seen Jamie Foxx play is Mother Effer Jones in Horrible oh. Bosses. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's, anyway, what's next? The chat portal buys that one as well, guys, just so you know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.